Hello, my name is Andy and I'm the developer of this app called Fall Risk Assessment. Uh, I've added a few updates since the initial release. Uh, the initial release had just the Berg balance test and now I've added Tenetti, um, the DGI which is a dynamic gait index and a timed up and go which is a timer to determine a patient's um, uh, ability to get up from a chair, walk 10 meters and then walk back to a chair and sit down. Uh, all of these are commonly used tools to determine a patient's fall risk and uh, they're pretty easy tools and um, have plenty of evidence behind them uh, of each one uh, to help determine different patient groups to, uh, of their fall risk. Uh, if you want me to add more, please ask, please feel free to email me. Um, my uh, email address is, uh, you can find it in the Play Store under the developer when you pull up the page it's on the bottom there um, I do respond quickly and uh, I can add tests pretty pretty easily the ones that I have planned to come uh, as a functional reach test um, I'm probably gonna add both a sitting and standing uh, I am gonna add a sitting and standing uh, if you have any other tools that you might want to recommend for that as well uh, feel free and I can add them pretty easily um, and then I, my wife suggested a mini mental exam. I'm going to have to go over that one and determine its usefulness. So you may or may not see this. Uh, uh, I, I probably will add it anyway. Um, but uh, I'm, I just got to determine whether or not that's going to be useful. So the four that I currently have are the Berg balance test, the Tenetti. Um, both of these are uh, different questionnaires that you ask the patient to complete a few tasks, uh, actually the dynamic gate index is, as well. And at the timed up and go, I don't really have any real uh, recommendations for that. Like on the, if you go pull up the Tenetti, uh, you have the sitting balance and you determine a patient's uh, safety on a subjective level as a therapist. Uh, but if you go through um, timed up and go, I don't really have anything like that were instructional. So what I've added is a, a link up here to a YouTube channel that I, uh, a, a YouTube video that I use to base the test off of. So uh, if you have uh, YouTube on your phone, it's actually going to pull it up the YouTube app. But uh, since this is uh, an emulator, it doesn't allow me to do that. But here's the video that I, I actually use to, to get the values from. So what happens is when you load up the, load up the app, and uh, you click start. This little timer is going to go, and depending on uh, the patient's um, time, it's going to determine the risk factor up here. So if it's over 19 seconds, it's going to be a hint that the, you're going to have diminished mobility. So we'll stop that. So slower mobility, and then over 30, it's, uh, it's diminished. Okay. So here's a quick update to what I've added on the, on this exam on this uh, on this app and if you have any more please feel free to let me know thank you